Hello everyone, welcome to this trade management mini session. My name is Barb Armstrong and I am a coach with Charles Schwab. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I have had many requests to talk about OCO orders um, on both positions you already have in a portfolio or adding a new position with an OCO order, which stands for one cancels the other. So we're going to look at the Thinkorswim desktop platform and we're going to place two um, OCO order um, exit examples. I invite you to follow me in the land of X, my handle at Barb Armstrong CS for Charles Schwab. Um, we're posting content there on a daily basis that we think you will find informative and helpful. Just as we get started, I want to remind you that the Thinkorswim paper money software application is for educational purposes only, as are the examples that I'm going to review with you today. They are not to be construed as a recommendation. Um, and this platform looks like and smells like a live account, but it's not. There are some nuances and differences between the two platforms, um, but this is a great place to be able to practice placing trades, exiting positions, and making sure that you understand your trading plan and trading strategy before you consider trading it in a live account. Um, know that past performance of any security or strategy doesn't guarantee future results of, or success, and that all investing involves risk, including the loss of principal. So coming out to the platform, the first stock that we are going to look at is Bank of America. And Bank of America, we bought um, in our example account back at the end of May. And let's just say that we, we own this stock, which we own 100 shares of, and that we've looked at this and decided if it goes back up to the previous high, we would like to sell our 100 shares. Or if it turns around and starts heading uh, south again, if it goes 3% below this recent low, it's not going in the right direction and we would like to exit the position. And now, how might we put that order in? Well, we're going to come to the monitor tab. Here is our position on Bank of America. We own 100 shares. We are going to right click on that and hover over create a closing order. And you'll see we have three choices. Just sell it at the current price, add a stop, or create a closing order with an OCO bracket. So we're gonna pick door number three and our first one is going to be our target. So we would like to sell, and this is a limit order, which says only sell if you can get $44.35 a share or more. And if we can't get $44.35 or more, now if it gapped up to $45, we could get out at a higher price, but this will only fill at $44.35 or higher. Now with the stop order, we're also going to make this good till canceled and it's going to become a market order if and only if the stock goes below $34.08. We're going to hit confirm and send. It's The stock is currently trading at $39.36. And so we're putting in this order to close and OCO stands, stands for one cancels the other. So if it comes up and hits the target of 44.35, this stop market order would be canceled. Now, if the stock were to gap down and say it opened at $33 a share, this would trigger a, an order to sell at the next available price. So it's not a guarantee that we're going to get out at exactly this price. Um, there is not a transaction fee and this is telling us you know, what we might expect to see if it hits the first order versus the second order. And whichever order is activated, the other order would be canceled. So we're going to put that in. And now when we come back to the monitor tab, we can see a little chiclet here, which means that we have an exit position in place. Now, what if we wanted to place a new order? Well, let's come out and look at XEL. And I had actually posted something on Twitter earlier today, um, you know, that I kind of saw a cup and handle pattern. So, you know, a potential trend reversal. This is an energy stock. Um, and if you're 
not sure of what sector a stock is in, you can come over to the Analyze tab and it will say right here. So XL Energy, it's actually in the utilities category. It's, you know, it, it's actually an electricity company um, and they do natural gas as well. But when we look at this, if we said, okay, I'd like to do what some might refer to as a swing trade. So I'd like to buy 100 shares of stock and then I'd like to sell it when it gets up to $61.90. If the trade goes against me and if I look at this line here as a support level, I'd like to put in a stop loss order so I could, we'll call this, our stop order here around 55.05. And so what I'm going to do to place that trade, I'm going to come to the trade tab and we are going to right click and say that we want to buy with an OCO bracket. So one cancels the other. So we're buying at $60.08. We want to exit if it gets to 61.90 and that's a limit order so it won't trigger unless XEL hits 61.90 or above and we're going to make that good till canceled and notice if I just make one good till canceled and not the other there will be a little reminder here that says hey orders in the same OCO group must have the same TIF stands for time and force so I'm going to make that good till cancel. And then we're putting in a stop market order, which means that if it gets down to, and the default is just a dollar below where it's trading, but we're going to say, hey, if this gets down to $55.05, not going in the right direction, it will trigger a market order to sell at the next available price. So again, not a guarantee that we would get out there, when we come to confirm and send, it's saying, hey, you want to buy 100 shares of XL Energy, right? Right. At the current price, you know, 60, well, the price is changing as we speak. So now it's 60.05 at 60.05, right? And we want to sell it when it goes up to 61. Oh, and this automatically adjusted it. So we're if we want, we can come back here and say, no, no, no. I wanted this to be 61.90. And I want this to be 55.05. <clears throat> Confirm and send. So I want to sell when it goes up by $1.85. Or if it comes down by $5 to 55.05, I want to exit. And we're going to put this in our stocks with a target group. And we have our OCO order in place. And again, if one order fills, the other order will automatically be canceled. We'll send that in. And once that fills, we have our two example trades. So I appreciate you joining me for this um, mini session on how to place a one cancels the other order on a stock, both a new position you may be adding to your portfolio or a position that you might already have in your portfolio. So hope you find this helpful. Stay tuned for another mini session coming your way soon. Bye for now.